The following is a true story, related in prose, about an incident that occurred just before Christmas 2006. It is entitled, Mr. Angry of Rose, by William Wordsless Worth. Once upon a time, in a small village named Rose, there lived an angry old fart called Steve, who was the star of the following prose, attacked a harmless tin can before Christmas Eve. One day our Stephen was so hungry, and so to his larder he came, to open a tin of fray bentos, steak and kidney pie was his aim. With his state of our tin opener he went into action, but sadly the tin opener was lacking in traction. So Steve in frustration with loud voice he cried, You dastardly tin of fray bentos, I will not be defied, and again to the task the opener he applied, but the tin remained closed, whatever he tried. Now, shaking with anger, his mighty fist he did raise, and fixing poor Bentos with a horrible gaze, he brought his fist down with a mighty crash, as a defenceless can he hit with a thunderous bash. Again and again he rained down blows, how long he'd bent us for, nobody knows. Then bent us, cried out, I'll never give in, I never will yield, and no matter what Steve did, he remained firmly sealed. At last Steve gave up, through exhaustion and pain, his hand was hurting and finally gone lame. As the night wore on, it grew worse and worse, and so to the hospital he went with a curse. The consultant was a pleasant young chap, who was used to weirdies and the odd sap. I've heard of you, Mr. Angry of Rose, but pray tell me how this damage arose. Steve did sheepishly explain how, as a mature adult man, he had lost a fight with a defenceless tin can, and had been forced to come to the BRI for severely battering a fray bent or spy. The consultant did his best not to laugh, on hearing of Steve's incredible gaff. In the background his assistant was sniggering, while all the nurses rolled around giggling. The victor, Frey Bentos, after winning his cause, returned to his larder amidst great applause. From all the other tins, who with laughter lived with Frey Bentos happily ever after.